Hi everyone. Um, case study of the week is pretty, actually really interesting. And the reason why I picked this case study of the week is because it's actually going to start tying into what the level two is going to be, which is how the hip affects the knee, knee affects the foot, and vice versa, how the foot can affect the knee and how the knee can then affect the hip. Um, this is actually tying in also into the, the pelvic deviation. So this is just perfect. Um, basically, this person, I didn't take pictures, but I'm going to talk you through this. Um, a little bit of a rush, but it was, it was that intriguing where I just thought this is going to be perfect for everyone as far as education purposes go. So um, this woman came in. She had a pelvic rotation left to right. Her left hip or femur was internally rotated greater than her right side. And she had pretty much a bilateral varus stress, which is, again, more that bow-legged stress, right? So um, with her gait, I know we didn't really get into much with the gait, but this is a pretty interesting finding. So this is something that will tie into something that you may see with your clients, which is at left swing phase, instead of even being more rotation-wise left to right at her left swing phase, she actually laterally shifted. So as your left leg came through, she shifted to the left and then came back down again. So that kind of tied in with what I saw with that pelvic rotation and with that internal rotation of the left hip. Now, she's been feeling pretty good. We've seen her in the past. Um, she typically would uh, had low back pain, but she's actually been feeling pretty good lately. So what we started with was the neutral back, you know, legs up. We had the knees together, pressing out against the strap. And I did that just to more or less fatigue the muscles around the hip. So remember, when the knees together, feet are wide, you're putting tension on the muscles deep in the hip. You pump them up, let them relax. And that should help drop her into the, into the uh, position. Now, the next two, next two exercises, a little different. You haven't seen these yet. Um, I started with her um, <clears throat> right leg on the floor and her left leg was bent over the uh, block. And I had her press her right heel into the floor and then I had her do the pullovers where she's clasping her hands together for 10. And then I had her do the arm rotation, which is arms out to your side, twisting back. Now the whole time she did those two exercises, she was keeping that foot pressed into the floor. And then I had to do the same thing on the left side. So I, started, I ended on the left side because I wanted that rotation side to, to be the most engaged or the, the, um, to end on that side just to make sure that the rotation we knew was going to be mitigated because she was activating that whole posterior chain on the left side. Now from there, I had her go into um, a split position with her legs up the wall. Now this was pretty interesting because when we, we had her get in with her legs up the wall, we had her go into a split position. She got into the position what she thought was correct. And what happened was the left leg, or left foot was higher than the right. So that told me that, well, her adductors are definitely going to be tighter on her left side. And sure enough, when we, when, he, when we had her both feet in the same points on the wall, her left side, her left adducts were, were definitely tighter. So I, we actually kept her there for about two minutes. I think we even did a little bit longer than that. Now, we waited until she felt that release. Now, that then set up for the side leg raises that we did. And those were, she had a strap around the ankles, lying on her side, and she was just pressing one leg out against the other. And she got a, a, a lot of glute, in particular glute med man engagement, and then some of the lateral hip as well. So those were the side leg raises. Now, from there, went into the bilateral uh, rocking chair, we call it, which is the strap around the knees. And we just had her go through plantar dorsiflexion with her feet. Now, I was doing that because I was trying to tie in how the foot relates into the knee, knee relates into the hip, and obviously the pelvis. So here, we're just getting some lumbo pelvic rhythm. So as she goes through plantar dorsiflexion, she's going through hip flexion. Relatively speaking, she's going through a little bit of extension, but then she's getting that lumbo pelvic rhythm. Now from there, the last exercise we did, I had her place a strap around her knees and we had her press out. And then while she was maintaining tension, I had her do glute squeezes. So she was doing glute max now squeezes. And 
the beauty of that exercise, and again, it blends back into the prior two exercises, <clears throat> which is getting the, the foot to relatively supinate, getting the stability in the hip, getting external rotation at the hip, and then getting the glutes to contract. So we're tying that whole, that whole kinetic chain all together, and we ended with that exercise. So you'll see the pictures um, right after this video. And um, again, these are different than what we typically did with the pelvic rotation exercises, but it's gonna also show you what's in the store for you with a level two, which is again, the hip, knee, foot, and ankle. So uh, stay tuned for next week's case study. Um, you know, I hope you guys are taking advantage and, and looking at these case studies because there's gonna be a lot of valuable information. And, and like I said er earlier, um, it's going to help set up for what's going to be coming up in the future in regards to how to look at other parts of the body. With some of the case studies that you've submitted, which I'm going to um, finish up this weekend, the, um, some of the comments were, you know, we see great changes there, but there's some other change that we haven't addressed yet. Well, we haven't addressed those yet because we haven't gotten to that point. So with these videos, I'm trying to blend and show you, you know, again, like I said, what's in store. So, um, you know, please, if you guys have any questions, you know, post them on that site. Let's get this thing rolling, get people to start thinking a little bit more, and um, we'll see you guys soon.